So games constantly evolve, and one thing that I want to do now is put more aliens on the screen. We have one type of alien in our game, and also we named it Enemy, and now I'm thinking maybe Alien would have been a better name. So now's a good time to make sure that we get this stuff right before our game gets even bigger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, I'm going to right click on Actor, I'm going to make a new subclass, and notice now I have more aliens. So I've gone and got some more screenshots of aliens here. I have three, one, two, three, and then I've got a couple other things like an enemy laser and a hero laser. So I'm going to add these things into my game today, and I'm going to make an alien B class, and that's going to take the alien B image, and I'm also going to add an alien C class, which is going to take the alien C image like so. Now enemy is not a good name anymore and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna double click on enemy and I'm gonna change this to alien A and I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it wherever I need to to make sure that I'm not gonna have any errors. There's a couple places yeah, like so. No problem. Just takes a minute to fix it up. And once that's done, then we're back in business. Now, Alien B, if I put it on the screen, you'll see it's way too big because I haven't scaled it, but we can do that. Remember, the way we do that is we put a constructor in. So if I take this line right here, or sorry, these lines, that's the constructor for Alien A, which makes it smaller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to change this to B and for C I'm going to do the exact same thing and what I'm doing again is this is constructor meaning that this is code that's only going to run one time every single alien that gets created is going to be scaled down to that size so now if I hold down shift you see the original image is still big but when I click it will scale it to be the right size so what I want to do is I want to make three rows of aliens. I've already got one, now I want another and another. And so here is one valid way to do it. I can copy all of this code, which is in the level one. So where I put the aliens on the screen, I can copy that, paste, change all these to a B, and I can go and change this Y coordinate here from 100 maybe to 150 like so and if I come out it should work yep there you go it worked but there's a smarter way so today you are going to learn about a loop so what you see here is code that is repetitive I've got five lines in a row that add alien A, and I've got five lines in a row that add alien B. There's a smarter way to do this, especially when you note that these numbers are going up by the same amount every time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write what's called a for loop that is going to add five aliens, but in a slightly different way. So this, is your first look at a for loop. For int x equals 0, x less than 5, x plus plus, like so. Oops, got a little minus. There we go. So, what it's, this is saying is I want to do something five times. x is an integer value that's going to start at 0. And it's going to go through and do whatever in here once, and then it'll come back and x will increase to 1. It'll do it again, x will increase to 2. Do it again, x will increase to 3, and so on. So I'm going to take all this stuff right here, and I'm going to comment this out for now by going up here, clicking comment, and now the computer is going to ignore these lines of code essentially. I just want you to see what this is going to do. So I'm going to click here, and what you notice is, uh-oh, there's only one alien. Or at least that's what it looks like. But if I peel 
these aliens away, that code actually did put five aliens on the screen. The only thing is it put them all at 50 comma 100. So they're all in the exact same spot. But the point here is that it did it five times. If I were to take this number and put a 10 right there, now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So you can see the computer put 10 aliens at that spot. So what I want to do, I want to make about 8 aliens. I think that would be a pretty good number to fill up the row. But I don't want them all in the exact same spot. What I want is them to start maybe at 50, but then I want them to increase, I want the gap to be about, down here we had a gap of 100. But I think we can do a little better than that. I'm going to make the gap 75. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 75 by x. So this right here says I want the x coordinate to be 50 plus 75 times whatever x is. Now this is complicated. The first time you see it, it looks weird. But let's just walk through it quickly. We've already kind of established that this code, this here, is going to happen, in this case, eight different times. The first time through the loop, the value of x is zero. The second time through the loop, the value of x will be one. The third time through the loop, it'll be two, and so on until x gets to seven, and then it will stop. So let's think about that for a minute. If zero is the value of x the first time we go through the loop, what's zero times 75? Well, it's zero. And then add 50. Okay, we got 50. So that means that one alien, the first alien, is going to appear at an x-coordinate of 50. Then x is going to increase to 1, and 1 times 75 is 75, plus 50 is 125, so that's where the next alien will appear. The next one will have an x value of 2, and so 2 times 75 is 150, plus 50 is 200. So the third alien will appear at an x-coordinate of 200. It will stop when x gets to 7. 7 times 75, off the top of my head, I'm not actually sure, but it's going to get a bigger value. Now, we may find that this is going to go off the end of the screen because this x-coordinate might grow to be too big, but we can always adjust that later. Let's see what it looks like. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 aliens on the screen simply from this little loop here. And if I decide, you know what, it looks to me like, you know, they're tilted. This one's, there's a bigger gap here than there is over here. I want to move this alien back. Well, then what I can do is change this 50 because that's the starting coordinate essentially to a 30. And you can see it move back. And it's not quite perfect yet, but I can keep kind of messing around with that number, maybe 35. And all of a sudden, that looks pretty good. So that loop puts eight aliens on the screen, spacing them out by 75 each time. And now that I've done that, this is the power of loops. I can simply take that loop and add another line inside of it. I want to add alien B the exact same way, but lower. And then I want to add alien C a little bit below that. So I'm increasing the Y coordinate 100, so the first aliens will be at the 100 on the y-coordinate, the next aliens will be at 150 on the y-coordinate, and then the next aliens will be at 200 on the y-coordinate. They're being spaced out every time, and it looks like I have a nice grid. And you can see the aliens look quite good. And we're getting towards real space invaders. So I have just 
made three lines of code instead of copy and pasting 15, because I would need another five to get the alien C's on. And if I decided to add more aliens, I could just put another line of code inside the loop. So this is your first look at a for loop. It runs seven times. And if you're thinking, why seven? Because there's an eight right there. Um, actually, I'm sorry. It runs eight times. It runs uh, when x is zero. And it will go all the way up to seven. So if you count with me, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just said eight different numbers. Try again. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight different numbers. It sounds weird, but it is. If you start at zero, you have, so that's why we have eight aliens. But the value of x is going to start at zero. It's going to go to one, to two, to three, to four, to five, to six, to seven, and then it will stop. And that's what makes the aliens space out in the x direction. Pretty beautiful. So we have aliens moving around the screen. Notice that only one of them is moving. That's okay. That's because we've only coded alien A to actually move. We're going to get alien B and alien C moving a little bit later.